All right, so behind me is the counterweight that I built uh, probably very roughly four years or so ago. I bought a tractor, it's about 40, 45 horsepower, whatever that thing was, and I used it as a shop tractor. I used it for loading and unloading trucks and trailers and moving steel all over the place here. It worked really well. Uh, the only problem with this concept is, as most of you guys know, anytime you put a lot of weight on the loader on a piece of machinery, it causes the rear end of the tractor to get a little, uh, to get a little light, to get a little uncomfortable, and sometimes even come completely off the ground, uh, you know, by an inch or two until you set down whatever you're picking up. And I didn't like that. It was very, uh, I, I don't know, I guess kind of unnerving, and it's not the most stable feeling in the world. And uh, so I decided I was going to come up with a counterweight to put it on the back of the tractor. Now, obviously you can use like a heavy implement, like a, you know, like a rotary shredder or a garden tiller or something, but there's two problems with that, two reasons why I didn't want to do that. One, they're not all that heavy. I think even my big land pride shredder only weighs like 1,500 pounds or something, and I think most garden tillers are less than that. The other thing is they're pretty bulky for the weight that they have. So if you're gonna be maneuvering that around uh, buildings or vehicles or other farm equipment, and uh, it's not the most ideal thing in the world. So I decided I would use my weldering skills to fabric cobble a pretty simple counterweight for this. You can see this is not exactly rocket science this is nothing other than uh, some eighth inch steel that i put into box form uh, some generic hitch pins and uh yeah that's pretty much it so the way this thing works it's a three-point implement you got your two lower links here the upper link here and uh, you just pick it up at the back of the tractor and then you've got uh, approximately 2,000, maybe 2,500 pounds of additional weight on the back of the tractor, which completely stabilizes the machine for picking up uh, probably up to about 1,500 pounds or so, 1,500, 2,000 pounds, somewhere around there. So I'll show you the construction of this. Um, down here, this is some 3 8 bar stock. I think it's three inch material. I use this as a support because if you just weld pins on some eighth inch sheet metal like this, then uh, you know, you're likely to tear out of them. And it's just not the most rigid thing in the history of the world. So I use that 3 8 bar stock there. I believe this was a single four by eight sheet of steel. It's eighth inch steel. I got two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet. And then I used a piece of scrap metal on the floor underneath this thing. Uh, once I had that done, I filled it up with concrete and to keep these sides spread out, you can see I just took this random piece of angle iron that I had and I put it in here. And uh, honestly, it's worked really, really well. I got no complaints about this whatsoever. And uh, the other thing about this design is you can see the top, uh, probably 18 inches of this box are wide open. So you can add extra ballast like these chunks of concrete. Uh, or if you want to, you can uh, fill it with chains and tools or you know anything along those lines. It worked out really well. I did not put drain holes in it for some reason when I built it. I guess it just slipped my mind. So, you know, the paint down here got a little scaly or whatever, but uh, it's just, you know, cheap Rust-Oleum paint, probably from, you know, Home Depot or whatever. I don't really remember. Uh, back here, this is one thing that did not work out very well. I decided I was going to add a hitch onto this. So actually this is a piece of square tube that run a rectangular tube that runs all the way through the body of this weight. Uh, this did not work out all that well. This is something I would do differently uh, because the issue with this is you've got this hitch which is parallel to the ground now. So when you pick this up, it's like sloped like this. If you're going to put a hitch on the back of one of these, build it slope down when the weight is on the ground. So that way when you pick up the weight with the tractor, it comes up to level and it's usable. Um, but yeah, you know, I'd never built one of these at the time. And it's uh, my fabrication skills were not really as good then as they are now. You know, I had like four years less experience or whatever. So it's a little rough around the edges. That's one of the other things that I would do differently. I was always worried about catching myself on the corner of, uh, you know, this angle iron brace across the front. Uh, the basic concept is sound. I really like this design. If I had to build another one of these, this is probably what I would do. 
I've seen some people that'll take like a 55 gallon drum and they'll put a piece of steel through it and then fill up the drum. Uh, I'm told that works fine. I've never messed with it. I think this is a lot more sturdy and a lot more rigid, however. And uh, yeah, so just a random little video, but I wanted to follow this up. Uh, worked great the entire time I owned it and uh, no regrets about building this whatsoever uh, someone did say that uh, one of the other things to keep in mind is water weighs more than concrete in applications like this like a gallon of water has more weight than an equivalent gallon of concrete um, I, I thought about building one of these so it was just like a giant water tank but I didn't because then you have to worry about you know like holes getting poked into it or water seeping out around things or whatever I just didn't really want to have to jack with it and with this obviously since it's concrete there is no need to so yeah, it's, uh, it was a really good weight box. I'm glad that I have it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's just my quick little review of this. I don't really have much else of importance to add. But uh, anyway, random video of the day. Enjoy.